which was rare. I put it on auction starting at $799 and sold it for $1,250 plus shipping. And I accepted a best offer of 500 plus shipping. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I am gonna talk to you about bolo items. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Who am I talking about? I am talking about members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in this group, go down into the description to my link tree, click on it, and there is a clickable link that will take you to the Facebook group and you have got to join it. We are, I think, at over 87,000 members in the group, so you will definitely learn a lot from the group. And if you want to be featured, if you want your Bolo to be featured in a video like this, you can go to the post up under the featured section that looks like this. You'll be looking for June by the time you see this video and you can share a bolo and I will feature it in a video just like this. If you are a Bolo Buddies member where you have joined my YouTube channel for perks, you will get an additional shout out. I'll pop up either your YouTube channel or your eBay store and I'll link it down below. So that is just a perk. Uh, level two gets you that shout out. Not required. My channel is completely free. It is free to share a bolo anonymously. If you want that mention, you can join perks at level two. All right, there's more information down below on that. Let's get started with the first bolo here and no pressure to join memberships, you guys. It is just if you're trying to um, promote your what your business is, you know, to help you get more eyes on your items and your channels. I bought a magazine and program lot from T Auctions for You a year ago. It was in my money pile. I listed this Louis Vuitton 2000 Classic Car Show program yesterday for $84.23 and sold it this morning for full asking price. I got 20 items in a lot for $40, so I'm only into each item for $2. I have four more listed from different years. Thanks, T. Okay, so it's it was a magazine and program lot. Huh. And it had Louis Vuitton 2000 Classic Car Show Program. That is pretty cool. Check it out. It sold for $84.23 plus shipping. T is Auctions for You on YouTube. This is her YouTube channel. And she basically caters and sells to resellers. So you can buy from her YouTube channel. And I have lots of unboxing videos where I have personally purchased from Auctions for You. So definitely Go down to the description. I will link her. Go follow her. She's also doing um, whatnot, and she is T Auctions for you over there. I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word over there, and I have a whatnot link. If you're not buying on whatnot, you got to check it out. It's awesome. Um, you can get $15 to shop with my referral link down below. So definitely join whatnot. Come follow. Come hang out. Even if you don't buy, just come check it out and hang out. It's super fun. Purchased at Marshall's for $39.99, sold in two weeks on Poshmark for $125. And I cannot see what it's called because it doesn't tell me. That's one thing I hate about Poshmark is you can't see the title, but this is what it looks like. So I hope that helps somebody. But this is a retail arbitrage example. Marshall's is a discount store and 40 bucks into 125 is pretty good margins. Paid $2.99 at the Salvation Army and sold in a week. It is a Bob and Lil L. Evans Nobbit hand-carved wood tree spirit face figure. And it is signed and she sold it for $50. I bought this doll at the Goodwill for $0.50. Cents. She just sold for full asking price of $45 plus shipping in less than a month. She's small, only 8 inches. Disney Store Toy Story 3 Dolly Plush Ragdoll Pixar Purple Hair Rare, 8 inches. That's what she looks like. Purchased at the Goodwill Bins for $0.33. Cents. 
Our books are 50 cents or three for a dollar. Bought this textbook and sold in a week for an offer of 25 and buyer paid shipping. It is a Genki and in integrated course and in elementary Japanese volume two, third edition. So 33 cents into 25. I purchased the Lennox Snoopy Easter egg for 15 from make for a uh, little, 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 let's try that again from Facebook Marketplace. As you can see, I sold it through auction for $212.50. I had no idea that it was so valuable. I was hoping for a hundred and that is a great profit. And this is what it looks like. Lennox Peanuts Snoopy Easter egg for you. New other colorful egg art. Uh, does it say decorate? It's really small, but I'll pop it up and hopefully it'll be bigger for you. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Pick Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube. <laughs> Went to an estate sale and paid 12 for this brooch. I didn't any listed. Okay, it's a typo. I'm not losing my mind. I'm like, this doesn't make sense. I think they forgot the word C. I didn't see any listed, so I put it up on auction and it sold for $174.50 plus shipping. It is a vintage women's signed Trafari Chinese lantern brooch, pen, gold tone, blue enamel. Awesome. Yeah, Crown Trafari can do great. This is also from Picker Money Flipper. Found this at an estate sale. I did pay up at $90.00. It didn't sell on auction, so I listed it high with best offer, and I have this brooch listed for about three months. No, three weeks, and I accepted a best offer of 500 plus shipping. <laughs> you guys, go watch my brooch video if you haven't seen it. I also have one on clip-on earrings, and I also have one on uh, vintage necklaces. For some reason, you guys did not watch the vintage necklaces. Why? It's so good. There is so much information packed in that about different necklaces to look for. You guys love the brooches, love the clip-on earrings, but all ignored the necklaces. So I'm going to link it down below. You guys got to go watch it. This is a vintage Trifari brooch and earrings, L Orient Collection 60s, Cabochon Coral Color Women's. And this is what it looks like. 500 buckaroos for that one. Oh my goodness, here's another one. This is one of my sales. Found this brooch at an estate sale, same as the other, paid 40 for it when I was doing my research. I found out the brooch was rare. I put it on auction starting at $799 and sold it for $1,250 plus shipping. I wanna know where this estate sale was. Oh my goodness, incredible. Three incredible brooches. Wow. 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 Picker money flipper. Way to go. Congratulations. Rare 1960s crown trafari ruby cabochon jewels of India Maltese cross brooch vintage. I will say that incredible keywords also. That is awesome. Just congratulations. That is amazing. Okay. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member resell and donkey yells. And that is their YouTube name as well. Bought these off eBay because I love them. I paid 55. After I enjoyed them for six months, I listed them back on eBay. Made a great profit. Thanks for all your time for doing these wonderful videos. So can you source on eBay? Absolutely. Uh, uh, Anthropology uh, Saga Gather Around 10 and a half dinner plates, set of four, hard to find. And this is what they look like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Found by Chance, and this is her eBay store. This is awesome. I love it. Found this unbranded crazy guy at my local Red Racks thrift store for $2.24. Not too many listed and most had issues. Mine was in great condition. Listed it under what most had theirs listed for. I wanted to sell it fast and it did. Took a best offer after listing to sell for a full asking price of $99.95. Horned green monster, bendy, posable, nose piercing, crazy toy, collectible, unique. Unbranded and sold for almost $100. You gotta love it. 
Here's another one from Found by Chance. Found this large Italian pottery cat at a garage sale for $3 and sold within a couple days of listing it. Took a best offer of $50. This is what it looks like. It's a cat laying on the floor and it's ceramic. <laughs> How fun is that? I bought this on the third day of an estate sale, also the last day. So prices were slashed and items were picked over. Dolls were more marked 10 to 20, so I have $2 into this item. This sold the same day at full asking price. Maybe could have gone higher, but the buyer left lovely feedback, so I think it was meant to be. Vintage Helen Bullard Holly Mountain Doll Ozone Tennessee Handmade Label Folk Art. $175 on that. That is incredible. 75 cents at a yard sale and took an offer of 80. It is this new big screen solitaire handheld 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 game by Radica, new in the package 2004. I found this at a different estate sale. I did a bundle deal, so ended up paying 35 for everything I bought that day and it was a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking I may have 25 cents into this. However, it was in a box of random stuff selling for a dollar an item. So either way, it would have been a good buy. I ended up accepting an offer of 55 and it sold the day after I listed it. Ended up accepting an offer of 55 and it sold the day after I listed it. I currently accept most reasonable offers to get sales during the slow period, but still happy with a quick flip. This is what it looks like. It is a Zuni stone fetish wolf turquoise arrowhead carved signed Todd Westica 2008. And that is cool. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Ohio Treasure Hunters. And this is his eBay store. I bought this at a sale that a, that a retirement home was having. Had a good feeling about it. Picked it up for 50 cents. Turns out my feelings was right. Had it listed for $249.99 and sold in under a week for a best offer of $220. It is a vintage uh, P-I-A-G-E-T. Paget? Paget? I don't know. Women's two-tone silver wristwatch. Batteries replaced and works. This one also comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters. Got this at one of our favorite sales of the year. They It takes donations to raise money to help cats and dogs. Paid five for this and sold in a couple days for full asking price. Original Bottega Veneta Perfume gift set discontinued. Woohoo! $349.99 on that. Wow, new old stock there. Ohio Treasure Hunters also found this. I bought this along with 17 other Fenton pieces at a family run estate sale for a total of $125. I sold this one piece in less than a week for full price plus shipping. It's a Fenton Topaz Opalescent Hobnail Vase Double Crimp Ruffle Vaseline Glass 1940s. Sold for $119.99. I bought a box of books at an auction for a dollar. Found this game included. Had listed at $229 for a couple months and reduced to $199 and sold the next day. Shoot the Moon 1986, a new space age card game, Martin and Martin. Now that's one I've never heard of. There's what it looks like. Be on the lookout. Hmm. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Leo's Treasures. I purchased a large bag of vintage plastic Marks toys at an estate sale for $6. The cost of this group is about $1.90. I shared last month another set that sold. So the cost of these are essentially zero. I have others still listed. This group sold for a best offer of $37 and the buyer paid shipping. Vintage Davy Crockett at the Alamo Defender Plastic Toy Blue Soldiers, a lot of 19. So what she did is she bought a big bundle for $6 and she is parting them out. And it's all going to add up to big bucks. I purchased this vintage Bucilla stamped cross stitch kit, new old stock at a local Goodwill for $1.15. This sold for a best offer of $39 and the buyer paid shipping. This one also comes from Leo's Treasures and this is what it looks like. 
This one comes from Leo's Treasures as well. I purchased this Boyd's Buzzy Bee Long and Burger 2009 limited edition bear at the Goodwill Bins, so the cost was about 40 cents. It sold while my store had plush on sale. Sold for $26.18 and the buyer paid shipping. Not the biggest bolo, but May has been very slow. Who is experiencing slow sales? Let me know down in the comments. Got, uh, let's see, set of eight Magic the Gathering promo crayons found in the bottom of the Goodwill bins for pennies. Sold in less than 24 hours for full asking price of 30 plus shipping. For crayons, they're not even Crayola, she says. This is what it looks like. And this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Merchants. Well, she's got different names. So it looks like eBay is The Merchant, Merchant's Shop. <laughs> and uh, she is also on Whatnot. And she is also on Instagram. So, and she's also on YouTube. So follow her everywhere. All right. So that's what they look like not even Crayola. I love it. We come from a commercial fishing family and I always pick up Alaska fishing hats. Some sell for 15, some sell for upwards of 30. I never clean them because that's considered bad luck and I make sure to put them in, put that in our description. It's bad luck to clean a hat? Tell me more. Tell me more. I've never heard that. Paid a dollar for my local Humane Society thrift and sold it for 15. That's what it looks like. Here's another one. Be on the lookout for Dragon Glassware. There's a glass company out of California and are desirable as they're hand-blown and double-walled. Sold four for 40 and shipping, plus shipping and paid $1.99 at the Goodwill. This is what they look like. Something I don't know about. Two Dragon Glassware stemless wine glasses, clear glass finger indentations. Ah, that's interesting. Huh. Here is the logo to look for. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, the Kitschy Canson. Got this beautiful Lennox piece at a garage sale for less than $2 and it sold in a couple weeks for full asking price of $65. Thank you for all your amazing support, Courtney. You're welcome and thank you for being a Bolo Buddies member and thank you for the shout out. I appreciate it. Lennox China, First Blessing Nativity Mary Madonna, Holy Figure, Holy Family Figurine, Mint and Box. And this is what it looks like. Not anything crazy, but a good return. I am a new reseller and was at a flea market, searched through a 50 cent bin and found this figure. I knew immediately this what who this was, but a lot of people don't. This is static shock figure. Turns out it is a subway toy. This is a DC Comics character and it seems there is very little variety of merchandise for this show. I didn't know it had any value. I figured a few bucks maybe. I passed on it at first, moved on to the last couple vendors and then went back to my car. Still had the figure in my head. So looked up the comps, saw they go between 20 and 30, went back and picked it up for 50 cents, listed for 30, got an offer within five days for 20. I countered at 25, buyer countered at 22 and I took it. Would have held out for a better price, but right now just trying to get to ca the cash flowing. Turned two quarters into $20 bill. So I'm happy with that. Yes, that's awesome. And it's a Subway toy, Subway toy. Um, I have a video where um, I'm at the Goodwill Bins and Dad Planet and I are fighting over these McDonald's toys. Now, do all McDonald's toys go for big money? No, 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 absolutely not. But the ones I was digging for and the ones he was digging for were both bolos. So go check out that video. This is what it looks like. Go sub up Dad Planet. He is a bolo finder with awesome YouTube content. I will link him down below. Bought these Martha by Mail copper cookie cutters. These are a bolo. At a, as part of a church sale bundle, paid $2. I grabbed them as I was standing in line because they're cats. Turns out all of the Martha by Mail cookie copper cutters are bolos. These sold for $88. I have sold, um, I think it was a snowman and maybe a candy cane big money. If you find the Christmas ones, look them up. They are Copper by Martha Stewart. I had to work on a Saturday overtime shift at my regular job. Boring. So I missed the opportunity to go yard sailing. Imagine how pleased I was to find one still open after one right in my own neighborhood. 
I spied the US, this U.S. Forest Service coffee cup and saucer. There were two of each. I had a hunch they'd be good. I ran some quick, quick comps and bolo. Let's see. It was late in the day, so everything was half price. I got each cup and saucer for $3. I accepted this offer for $69, and the best part is I still have another one to sell. This is what it looks like. U.S. Forest Service logo cup and saucer set Buffalo China green stripe white coffee. Dear Courtney, thank you so much for all you do to help us learn how to source, comp, list, store, pack, and ship. You have been an unbelievable help to me. I'm new. I'm very new to selling and have been a thrifter for almost all my life. My mom would take us, there were six of us, to the secondhand stores frequently. First off, before I finish reading what you said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you as well. Um, I appreciate everybody that watches. You guys help me so much um, just getting views. And if you guys share out the videos, all of that helps tremendously. And I appreciate all of you. And I want you to know that as well. Okay, so let's see what else she said. Anyway, this was found at the Goodwill outlet in Minnesota. It was in a bin that had been searched through by many already. Here is the description and a picture of the rare doll. Thanks again for all you do. The Queen's Doll, a rare vintage penny wooden doll set. I cannot believe this was sitting in a picked over bin at the Goodwill bins. That's crazy. This vintage doll is rare and unique find. The doll was designed exclusively for Doll Masters, the historic doll auction house by artist Franz Kanins. This vintage doll, thought to be from the 1970s, is a replica of the penny wooden or Dutch dolls that were made in the 1800s. As discussed, the original box that is included with the doll, the dolls were often used as characters in children's books in the 19th century. This doll is modeled after Dancer Mill, uh, Porifia, blah, Porfaria <laughs> Burkard, who is a character in the book Queen Victoria's Dolls. So, I don't know if it sold yet or not. She did not include that information, but that's a lot of good information right there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there. And if you're watching and you sold the item, let us know where you sold it and what it actually sold for. That would be fantastic. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Definitely go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and join if you have not already. Again, that's in my link tree down below. All my links in one place. Check it out. Um, if you want to follow or subscribe to my link tree, I do push out links when I'm going on Whatnot Live. So if anybody wants to follow me over there and get that notification, you can subscribe to my link tree. But it's always in my video descriptions. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Went to an estate sale and paid 12 for this brooch. Didn't, I didn't list, oh, let's try that again.